Good morning, North America. Bored shitless today in Europe. Euro dollar has been, I don't know, 35.50. Cable's been 25.50. Euro yen, it did slip down to 61. Now we're at 80. Um, so that was, there was some movement there sort of against trend, um, but really, really nothing, 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 nothing going on. Uh, right now, the chart in front of me is the BTP chart, big gap down today, just trying to figure out this BTP thing, and I'm still sort of confused about this Italian election. These bonds uh, have to go lower think uh, and, and uh, there's got to be some sort of some sort of trade here this is kind of your bull bear line here comes in 135.50 but um, I'm going to be giving this some thought over the next coming days and whether there's some money to be made being short BTPs Italian Italian long-term bonds. Anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because it shows how bored I am and, and uh, what I'm looking at. U.S. 10-year, 288. Nothing going on there. The cable chart, so dull. Euro, have not been above 52. I'll put the little five-minute chart so you can kind of see how dull this has been. We've basically been 30.50 all day. Uh, we will eventually take out the 65 highs. I'm not sure we're going to get any follow through or, or anything interesting on that. We've got some speakers and some data coming out of the U.S. this afternoon, which may help. Uh, we got Dudley speaking at 1.30 Central European time. Then we got U.S. factory orders. We've got Bank of England's Hal, uh, Haldane. Oh, that's even later. 7.15 Central European time. Oh, God, we got nothing. RBA Governor Low. 10.30. Aussie GDP tonight. That could be interesting. Uh, but looks like it's going to be an incredibly dull day. Looking forward, as we spoke about this morning, dollar cat is probably a fade on any sort of shot higher. You kind of want to fade prices into the onto the 130 handle. Uh, you know, just got to be in front of the screens for that. If it happens, got the BOC tomorrow. Surely, excuse me, I'm yawning. Surely, um, there'll be some. Uh, risk-adjusted selling going into that. Dollar max is lower. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. We really like this top side level here, uh, 19, 18, 98. Not in play for the moment. In fact, it looks like we have a little bit of a double top up there. No trade for now, except for this our momentum style play is more important. 1898 is, is a good level. Let's put it in the book and keep an eye on it going forward. Aussie dull. Dollars are lower. This is a bit of a pain in the ass, but again, lower in, very, in a very dull way. I mean, we're, f we're four handles lower from where we were at the beginning. Has no action, no power to the price. Just drifting around, screwing some, uh, screwing some longs, longs over. Nothing really much to say. Uh, let's take a quick look at the cryptos. Bitcoin, ten thousand nine hundred. The Twitter sphere is all saying that crypto sellers are back, but if you, as you can see from the chart, really doing nothing. Uh, we're basically 11,000, just sitting here, dull as dishwater. S&Ps, probably worth a sell up at 2740 today. 
again looking for a range bound type day there's no reason that uh, we're going to see anything powerful certainly on the top side I don't think we're going to see anything powerful um, and if bad news dump does come out then bad news comes out but uh, we're looking for a range today keep your powder dry don't waste any money on a day like today because uh, it's tough to make money when things aren't moving and they're just drifting around for no reason so keep it light and keep it tight that's all I got for you not much to not much help today I know but uh, be patient there's always another trade the setups will come Talk to you guys later.